I hope this video is in focus because my last ones, I've just been having a lot of trouble and I hope the audio is okay with the leaf blower going on. Okay, hey guys, so this video is going to be briefly about my first semester at Chamberlain and then mostly about things that I've learned that are very useful to know at, about Chamberlain. So yeah, um, it took like first session, so keep in mind that the classes at Chamberlain are broken up into sessions, so they're eight week long classes, but a semester is two sessions. After the first session of my first semester, I was still a little confused because I had only taken an online, two online classes and transitioned to nursing, which is really supposed to just get your feet wet into how things are going to be done in your nursing classes and preparing you on how you should be studying or how to make sure that we, you know, self-care or not. Just things that you may want to know for those of you who are just starting out or planning to go into Chamberlain um, or basically have been accepted but have not started the program yet. I was a new student at a new school. I didn't have a buddy. I didn't have a friend who was coming with me to this new school. I noticed that some people did that. They had their friends. They had roommates that they've already connected with who were going to be in the same path as them. Um, but I didn't have that. so. I am the anxious type and I would go out and like research as much as I could, you know, I was watching all these YouTube videos like y'all are probably doing now. Um, it, I just looked into so much information that I would want to know, you know, I wanted the details, hey, like what do I need to kind of know beforehand, what do I need to study beforehand, what concepts do I need to understand to be able to be successful in the class, blah blah. They always tell you to exchange some phone numbers so that you have someone to talk to in case you can't make it or you didn't understand something. And always ask the people around you and try to figure it out yourself before you go to the professor with something that you could easily figure out because a lot of them will get annoyed. Some of them won't show it, but they will be annoyed with you. <laughs> so I have to figure out as much information as I can before I do anything. So I figured out that you miss the first class, I believe you may get dropped from the class. You miss two classes in a row of a course, you will be dropped from the class. And you are not allowed to sit in that class until you get it fixed. You have to go to the advisor and get it fixed and it may take some time. Any assignments that you miss during that time, you are not allowed to make up. And the thing about Chamberlain is even if you missed an assignment for whatever reason didn't turn in an assignment, you cannot pass the class until you turn in that assignment, even though you're going to get a zero on it, you know? and. A lot of things can get you dismissed from the program. If you fail two classes, you are going to be dismissed from the program. And if you are taking a class that has a lab, if you fail the lab and not the class, or if you fail the class and not the lab, you failed both. So those count as two classes and you will be dismissed from the program. I just want to clarify something here. It's once you fail two classes, those are the only two chances you have. The third one and you're out. So if you failed one class and then you fail a class that also has a lab, you're out. And with late deductions, so on campus classes, you have three days after the due date to turn it in for 10% off each day. And then any online general education classes, you get 5% deductions each day for seven days and after those days you're done you still have to turn it in you're gonna get a zero I have seen a lot of people on YouTube talking about how it's so not fair how they did not know this for me at least for my cohort or every open open house that I have been to prior to applying and getting accepted to Chamberlain we were told that we were you know any rules on how you may get dismissed or how you may fail a class or get dropped from a class were explained to us and I'm the anxious type so I make sure I know this kind of information to prevent any of that happening. They're very hardcore about academic integrity. APA format. If you are a part of a school or you're coming out of high school where you usually use MLA format, I highly recommend you study up on APA format. I hope you guys can hear me. I highly recommend you study up on APA format and get it down to the T. I've realized that if you don't learn how to use APA format correctly from the beginning, you will struggle. Um, that was me. 
This book is gonna be your Bible. If you are using a research paper that also used secondary sources, then you need to cite those secondary sources or else it will be considered plagiarism. And you may get, you may have a meeting with the dean on if you should be dismissed or punished in some way. So another thing is, Another important thing is Chamberlain lays out your schedule for the rest of your time with them. Do not try to change your classes that they have already set up for you in that plan because if you do, they will go ahead and switch it back to the classes you should be taking and you may not get the times and days or professor that you wanted. So if you want to switch some things around, you have to go speak to the advisor about it before you do it. The thing is use all the resources you have available. Use the Chamberlain Library. This ensures that you are using academic journals that are acceptable for your research papers, which you will be doing a lot of. Um, discussion posts are pretty much research papers. And there are a lot of essays involved. If you have any questions, ask other students who are a little bit further in the program than you. You'll love them and Ask multiple people because some of them do not have the correct information or have outdated information. And to know all things and be updated on things, do what I do, be anxious, and check your emails for anything sent to you from anyone involved with the school. Whether it's your Chamberlain email or the email, you know, your personal email that you may have on file for them when you apply to the school. That is where I get all of my information and listening in when people are like, listen up. And a big thing is to look into Facebook groups. There are Facebook groups out there. There isn't one for my cohort right now, but there is a textbook group for all Chamberlain students, you know, not just the Atlanta campus. There is a Facebook group out there for Chamberlain students in general. There is, I forgot what it is called, but if you search up like Chamberlain textbook, I'm sure you'll find it. You will find hard copies of textbooks that are cheaper. You will have some people offering all of their textbooks for free. Utilize Facebook groups, utilize YouTube, utilize the resources like CAS, you know, and if they're offering tutoring for a certain class, use it. Do not record anything at the school without prior permission from the dean or I believe from the dean. Um, I believe there is absolutely no filming in the sim lab, the simulation labs. There is no filming professors. I know that other, oh, I'm not wearing it. I know that other campuses have told me they're allowed to use their Apple watches, but at the Atlanta campus specifically, we are not allowed to use Apple watches. Um, I believe we are expected to use watches with a second hand or smart watches in general. Ooh. So at Chamberlain, you are expected to tap your badge every time you enter the door. Security is very- Anytime they see a student coming to the door, they will like eyeball you. They will look into your souls as you walk up to the door and make sure you scan your badge before you walk, walk into the school. Um, this ensures that they know who is in the building if anything's ever to happen. And if you ever forget to bring your badge to campus, they will not let you in, but each student does get two backup passes a semester. If you pass that, you're going to have to pay for a new one if you lost it, or you're going to have to just leave because they will not let you in without that pass, guys. You get two a semester, not a session. Oh, also, yes, there is construction going on at the Atlanta campus. It is quite, I wouldn't say it's so annoying that you can't get your stuff done, but it is just a little annoying because parking, you got to walk a little bit and some students are over at overflow parking. Um, students get off the MARTA and take a shuttle. There are shuttles constantly running, so you should never have an issue. If there are issues, you speak with someone who will speak with the dean or you speak to the dean themselves. Um, and the dean is like, she will mama you. She will, she mamas. She like is mama bear to all of us. She will make sure that we understand everything. She will make sure that we feel welcome. She will make sure that we are informed on everything whether you listen or not she will 
say something um, if you want things clarified. She is honestly the most involved dean ever. Any other university or college that I was a part of, I have never met the dean. She is the only dean that I have actually seen in person multiple times um, and come talk to every class at the beginning or whatever and make sure that we understand what's going on with construction, what's going on with parking, what's going on with some sort of petition that went around. She'll make sure that we are taken care of. I knew this information because stuff like this was told. People were asking stuff like this. This was told to us at orientation. It was told to us in my transitions class. It was told to us. We were warned multiple times by multiple professors um, and faculty. We were told multiple times by professors and other faculty. I, to this day, I still have classmates that don't know this until I tell them. So I don't know if it's certain professors are not emphasizing or letting their students know or what or they're just not listening you need to be very attentive um that's all i can really think of at this moment um uh, like and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to continue following me on my nursing journey here at chamberlain um chamberlain atlanta to be specific if you want info on that um yeah, so I'm gonna get back to my assignments now since they are due at midnight today. What time is it? <laughs> Alright, I got plenty of time guys. Alright. <sighs> See ya!